Well, early voting is underway and it's actually going through Friday, Election Day on Tuesday, November 5th. This morning, we're getting a closer look at how Harris County voters feel about the local electoral process. Mark Jones is joining me to explain findings in a survey by the University of Houston's Hobby School. Good morning, Mark. How are you? You're doing, doing well yourself? Yeah, good, good. We appreciate you waking up with us this morning. This report that you're talking about shows that only 38% of likely voters in Harris County are very confident in the fairness of this election. I mean, that is less than half. Um, I mean, just over a third. Does this surprise you? Uh, not so much because of the distrust that we have in our current system. So, you know, only, th you know, essentially uh, two fifths of the population has a lot of confidence in the elections, and then another two fifths has some confidence. We see some real partisan splits there. Uh, Democratic voters and Kamala Harris voters, by and large, are confident about elections in Harris County, mm -hmm. but Republican voters are not. And that's what, one of the reasons why that number is so low is because of the partisan split with Republicans much less likely to be very confident in Harris County elections being conducted fairly and accurately than Democratic voters. Yeah, I mean, why do you think that is? What do you attribute that sort of distrust to um, and particularly among the um, Trump supporters, Republican supporters? Well, part of it has to do with the issues that occurred during the 2022 election with the lack of ballot papers, as well as the uh, decision that was eventually reversed by uh, the Democrats on Harris County Commissioner's Court to go to an elections administrator that they hand handpicked. Now, that, of course, was later reversed by the state in 2023. But uh, there's a lot of distrust among Republicans and a belief, without too much evidence, actually, that uh, the Democrats are using their political control of Harris County to skew the uh, electoral system and election administration in their favor. Uh, now that Tanisha Hudspeth is in charge of elections as the county clerk, I suspect some of these uh, uh, feelings will go away, uh, but it will take a good election here in 2024 to reassure, I think, many Republicans that mm -hmm. they're getting a fair shake in Harris County elections. Yeah, and Hudson Smith has been very vocal, been very upfront, sort of trying to explain the process even before this, but with the smaller election, um, before the presidential election. Let's look at what voters see as security threats out of this survey. Voter suppression, inadequate poll worker training. Um, this was mentioned in a recent state audit and foreign interference. Um, so can you tell us more about these perceived threats? These were all covered in this survey? Right. So voter suppression is a concern that especially many Democrats have. They have less concern about it here in Harris County than in Texas. But uh, Democratic voters in Harris County in particular are concerned about voter suppression statewide. Uh, also, you know, Republicans tend to be a little more concerned about an insufficient number of adequately trained poll workers than Democrats, although for both it's quite important. And then both Democrats and Republicans pretty equally view the potential for foreign interference as a legitimate serious threat to Texas having uh, fair, accurate, and uh, reliable elections this fall. Yeah, I mean, and it sort of feels like all of these things at one time is enough to make people, you know, not trust the system. Um, whether, like you said, whether there's evidence there to support um, some of these feelings. Let's talk about early voting a little bit. Um, I mean, what do you attribute to the trend of 57% of voters planning to vote early in person? That's, those are Harris County voters? Right. So when you combine, you know, essentially over half of Harris County voters uh -huh. will ca are expected to cast their vote early in person. And then you add another about 10 percent who are expected to vote by mail. So we're likely to see more than two thirds of the votes cast here in Harris County cast early, either in person in a majority or by mail with a little less than a third on election day. And that's just reflecting the increasing popularity of early voting, both among voters who like the convenience, but also among political parties who like to get their voters to turn out to vote early so they make can in first ensure that they actually vote. And then second, it allows them to track voters and focus then in on the smaller and smaller group of voters who haven't voted mm -hmm. uh, to get them to mobilize them to turn out on election day. Yeah, and that's sort of speaking to campaign strategies, but it seems like in past elections, past years, there was a general um, feeling or like, oh, well, we think if 
all these people show up early, it means that this this candidate is ahead. I, do you see that? Do you have a sense or, or know sort of which way this is going based on the survey? Uh, based on the, well, based on the survey, and then at, essentially combining it with data that we see from voter lists that have mm -hmm. been coming in during the first uh, week and close to a week and a half of early voting, we do see a slight Republican lead statewide. That is. Uh, people with a Republican background seem to be more enthusiastic and in turn, are turning out in slightly larger numbers than Democrats, even be, compared to 2020. Yeah. Now, a lot of that, of course, can get reversed during the final week of early voting on Election Day. But I think right now, when we look at the numbers, Republicans seem to be a little more enthused about this election and in terms of turnout than Democrats, especially compared to 2020. All right. Very interesting results of your survey. Mark Jones with the University of Houston. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you.